welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan. If you're new here and this is the first time that you are actually clicking on one of my videos, hello and welcome. My name is Katrina and on this channel, I like to share my family of four's weekly grocery haul and meal plan as well as what's for dinner videos, meal prep, and pretty much anything that happens in my kitchen. I like to share it here with you all on my channel. So if you love that kind of content, I would love for you to stick around, hit that subscribe button down below and just join my family here on YouTube. So if you are ready to get some new dinner ideas for your week ahead, go ahead and leave this video a huge thumbs up and let's get into it. So for our weekly meal plan on Monday night, we're going to be having taco ravioli. When I first seen this in the catalog, like a few months ago now, they sold out in like two days. So we wanted to make sure that we grabbed a couple this time just to make sure that we could have some stored in the freezer. On Tuesday night, we're going to be having curry sausages with mixed veg. Usually I have curry sausages with like the jar sauce and then on top of some rice, but I wanted to make the curry white sauce sort of mixture with the mixed veg in it. I just have been craving that lately and I really honestly think that that recipe tastes so much better than the um, more gravy based one. Then on Wednesday night, just something nice and easy. We're having fish and sheep pan vegetables. We just chuck all of that in on the same tray in the oven for about half an hour and it's just so easy and quick to get dinner prepared that night. We buy most of our vegetables frozen if you're new here. So that's what makes this super easy. They're already pre-chopped and frozen and we just throw them onto the sheet pan. Then on Thursday night, we're having chicken Kievs with mashed potato and green beans. On Friday night, we're having creamy bacon tortellini. I asked my viewers last week if they had like a really good carbonara or Alfredo sauce to share. And one of my viewers actually shared her recipe, which I am super grateful for. So thank you for that. And I am going to go ahead and try that out this week. So hopefully that turns out really tasty. Then on Saturday night, we're having just something nice. I spelt that wrong. Sorry if that annoys anyone, but we're having smoothies with toasted cheese sandwiches, just something nice and easy to also help us use up any leftover fruit that doesn't get eaten during the week. We can just throw it all into the smoothie alongside the toasted sandwiches and everyone's happy. Then on Sunday night, we're just going to be having a meat pie with some roasted vegetables. So that is everything that's on the meal plan. This week, I'm going to go ahead and grab those groceries and show you what we got in our grocery haul. So this week's grocery haul was super expensive compared to the normal grocery hauls that we do over here. So this one came up to just over $250 because we did buy quite a few non-food items and those things that we did buy were actually quite expensive items as well. So I'm just going to start over this side and explain to you what we got. So the first thing that I grabbed, which I do have a little bit of an addiction to, is these microfiber cloths. I cannot help myself if I see these half price. I have to buy them. So these were $3.50 this week. So I picked up a packet. I love that these have all of like the little ideas of what you can use each one for. And they seem to be like sewn different. To be honest, I didn't really realize that there were different microfiber cloths until I've looked at these. I don't think I've really looked at the packet properly before, but I'll have to read into that a little bit more. But anyways, I have another packet of those now, so I'm super happy about that. I grabbed another packet of magic erasers. You guys know these are my favorite and I always like to keep a huge stock on hand of these so that I never run out. I pretty much need them every single time that I do a deep clean in our house. But these were half price again, so they were $2. Then I've also grabbed a packet of these dead old disinfectant wipes. As much as I love these microfiber cloths, I refuse to use them in like places like the toilet because I just like to be able to dispose of anything that touches the toilet. So I grab these dead old wipes mostly for that reason, to clean the toilet so I can just throw them in the bin straight after. But I do like to wipe down and disinfect the bench and things like that once I put all these groceries away. So I also use them for that as well. Another thing, oh, I think they were half price too, which is why I grabbed them. I think they were $5 for the 120 pack. Also for half price this week, this was down from $22 to $11. Is just some Nappy Sand Vanish Oxy Action for the washing machine. Next thing that I grabbed this week was just a two kilo bag of potatoes. They've gotten a little expensive again, so I just grabbed the smaller bag this week. I also brought a large um, baby spinach and kale bag, except they were out of stock this week or tonight anyway. So they substituted that for two bags of the baby leaf spinach, which is great. I'm not complaining about that. I also, again this week, went ahead and grabbed two two liters of the A2 light milk. I've grabbed a big family pack of the Milo cereal. We just ran out of that the other day, so we needed to grab some more of that. 
Also for non-food items, I grabbed three packs of batteries. These were half price this week. So I grabbed two packets of the double A's and one packet of the triple A's. Honestly, I feel like when you have kids, batteries are just like gold. You need them all the time and they just run out so quickly. So when they're half price, I do like to stock up. I think they were about $10 a packet still, but they're usually around the $20 mark. So this did make the grocery haul a lot more expensive this week, but in the long run, we're saving a ton of money by doing it that way. We also needed a new packet of Chuck Swipes. We don't have a dishwasher here. If you watch my cleaning channel, you will know that I'm always complaining about the fact that we don't have a dishwasher, except we did need some new Chuck Swipes for under the sink. We had run out. I've also grabbed two more sachets of our favorite sour cream and chive potato mash like seasoning. We love adding this to our mashed potato. I swear if you've tried this before, you cannot go back to plain mashed potatoes. This stuff just tastes amazing i've also grabbed a bunch of yogurts for the kids so i grabbed three of the strawberry yogurt pouches and three of the banana yogurt pouches i grabbed myself some yogurts this week so these were down to a dollar each this week they were half price so i went ahead and grabbed a few different flavors i got the yellow box honey which is really good i also got the caramelized fig which i love as well and the field strawberry and then for my two-year-old i grabbed her some of these apple pear and cinnamon porridge pouches she loves to have these just on the side with breakfast and it's super easy for me to grab those out and give them to her toilet paper was half price this week so they were down to three dollars 75 for a pack of eight so i grabbed two packets of those this week. I also grabbed myself four of the Caesar salad kits. So they're $6 each, which is also what makes this grocery haul a little more expensive. I normally try to only buy like two of those, but I'm really trying to eat a lot healthier lately. We got a whole bunch of strawberries this week. We got five punnets. I actually ordered three punnets, except when I ordered them this morning, they were like $3, uh, sorry, they were a dollar. 50 I think a punnet and for some reason they went down to a dollar a punnet during the day so they've gone ahead and added an extra two to make up for the price difference as well as the strawberries I also grabbed just a bunch of bananas here for the kids to stack on we grabbed some frozen baby beans for the freezer just for one of the dinners this week I also grabbed a packet of our favorite herb and garlic sausages for the night that we're having curried sausages. If you're new here and you haven't heard me say this before, this flavor is seriously so good and it is the exact same price as the plain beef one. So it's worth grabbing these to try. We also grabbed our usual kilo bag here of apples. So we got red apples this week. We got green last week. We like to mix it up a little bit just so the kids don't get bored. Another snack that my kids absolutely love are these less snacks. So they were half price this week again so i grabbed two boxes of those just so that we are fully stocked they usually stay in date for such a long time and the fact that they're like shelf stable and don't need to be in the fridge and taking up room in there we just love them around here i also grabbed two packets of corn thins i just got the tasty cheese flavor and also the original so these were down to a dollar a bag which is super cheap and they make such a good snack as well with some peanut butter on it alongside a chopped up apple for my four-year-old that's one of his favorite snacks and my youngest loves anything cheese flavored so that's why i got these tasty cheese ones i'm thinking she could just eat them plain as a snack because corn thins taste so much better than uh rice cakes rice cakes sort of have no flavor if you eat them on their own they really need something on them except with corn thins i find even the original ones it just tastes like crushed popcorn and it tastes so good so they're really easy to eat as a snack on their own so hopefully she likes those tasty cheese ones the nescafe coffee sachets that i always grab were half price again they have been half price for i reckon the last four weeks in a row i have so many in the cupboard that i reckon i could have my own shelf for them now but i grabbed one of the caramel latte boxes to try i was on the vanilla lattes for so long and then they changed their recipe and I just didn't like them anymore. Except I did go ahead and grab one box of the vanilla lattes this week because I'm just sick of the cappuccino ones, I think. Although in saying that, I did grab two of the cappuccino boxes because I do have those more times than not. But I really just wanted to change up the flavor a little bit this week and grab the vanilla, even though it's not such a good 
um, recipe anymore. They really changed the vanilla flavoring in it than what they used to have. It now tastes a lot more like the Makona vanilla sachets, which it's completely different. If you've tried them both and you know what I'm talking about, then you know that there's a huge difference. But the caramel ones I have high hopes for. So hopefully they taste good. And then I can just get through the rest of these cappuccinos and start on the caramel ones just for a little extra flavor. I grabbed some of these chicken stock cubes. These were only a dollar, which I thought was a super good price for these. And it was one of the ingredients that I needed for that creamy bacon sauce that someone shared with me last week. So I went ahead and grabbed just a packet of those. I always need chicken stock for something. So the rest of those will get used up if I don't make that creamy bacon sauce over and over again. I'm sure I will find a bunch of other recipes to use this in. I grabbed two jars of our usual spicy peppers that we always get. So these weren't on special at all. We just really needed them. So I only grabbed two. I'm going to stock up on those though next time they go half price because it really is a pain when you have to pay full price for something that you know goes half price. I also grabbed two of these evaporated milk tins. So in that creamy bacon sauce recipe, it called for around 300 ml of cream. So I wanted to see if I could replace that with some evaporated milk. I'm just trying to cut out on the fat content from that cream. So a lot of recipes I have substituted this for um, substituted cream for evaporated milk in. You can notice the difference, of course. It's not as creamy, but to make it more healthy, I think that the flavor change is worth it. The next thing that I also grabbed was just a little um, Gravox traditional gravy tin. I normally grab the like gravy pouches that you just put in the microwave for 60 seconds and heat up, but this worked out a lot cheaper and it makes a lot more than what those gravy pouches um, have in them. So I thought I'd try this one out and make it up and see what I think of this. I'm hoping that it is, you know, like thick enough, but if it's not, another thing that I did buy this week is corn flour. So I thought that I could chuck a little bit of that into the gravy to thicken it up as well. And on top of that, I also needed corn flour for that creamy bacon sauce recipe. So it's doubles for a few things. And I feel like I need corn flour in a lot of things, but I just never have it in my cupboard. So I just picked up one of those. That was only $1.60 for that big 500 gram bag. And I also grabbed this packet of 24 single slice cheeses. They were down, I think, to $4 for the pack or something. They were $3 something off. So that's a good saving for sliced cheese as well. So I'm just editing and I realized that I skipped over a few things in this grocery haul. So I also grabbed some chicken Kievs. They were half price this week. So I grabbed those and put them on the meal plan. I also grabbed two packets of these um, taco flavored ravioli that I mentioned in the meal plan. So we'll pop one in the freezer for next week and we will eat one of those this week. And the last thing that I forgot to mention was just these low GI Veda Smart pasta packets that we get. We do like to always Always stay stocked up on these and this is one way that we make our ravioli go further on the night is by adding one packet of the penne and one packet of the ravioli so it's kind of a mixture and it just makes so many more meals and it also makes for good leftovers the next day so this week's groceries cost 252 dollars and i've just realized here reading the receipt that they refunded me 11 dollars 80 and when i checked i've just realized that both I did buy two loaves of our normal low GI white bread, except that got refunded. So I'm probably gonna have to run back to or drive back to the shops now to grab that because we will need bread in the morning. And then I also got like another um, like rice cooker for the microwave, except uh, that must have been out of stock as well. So they were half price this week. If you do have them in your area, they're down to $5 from $10 if you wanted to go and grab yourself one of those. But yeah, I'm going to have to go and grab some more bread tonight, that's for sure. So that is everything that is in the grocery haul and meal plan this week. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please go ahead and leave it a huge thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to subscribe down below. I would love to have you back here next week. But until then, I hope you all stay safe and healthy. And I will see you back here again really soon with a brand new video. Bye.